Hello guys and welcome to another edition of uh, uh, Tips for Dummies. Today I will be uh, changing a full uh, vanity with the sink as you can tell. The uh, countertop is broken. I tried to find a counter, counter that will fit this uh, uh, cabinet, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I had previously show you how to change just the uh, countertop so uh, now it's time to change the full uh, the whole thing so we start by closing the water valves inside okay. right. so we close the water valves this is uh, clockwise close them and also this one all right the next step is to uh, remove the uh, nuts from the, uh, the valve sometimes you can do it by hand sometimes you can't since I'm gonna use some channel locks, I'm gonna remove the uh, this uh, <clears throat> this valve. All you have to do is do this. I have to take this out. This is just to make space. So that way the pliers can go in. There. How you remove it. Save that. Right. I'm gonna loosen. put my pliers on it. They sell some special tools to remove this. Uh, that might be the case in here, I don't know. Let me try with the pliers first. If not, I use the red color too. Uh, it's just a matter to, to, to turn it just a little bit so that will come out. But it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, I did. It did turn. Once it turned, you can do it by hand easily. <clears throat> A little bit of water comes out. Now it's time to loosen the other one. Same thing. Take it off by hand. Alright. Now we got that out. The next thing, the next thing to do is to remove the uh, trap. I usually because there is some water coming out. Since this I'm gonna throw this thing out, uh, away. I don't care if this gets wet. Uh, just get a towel handy. Uh, just loosen on both sides. It stinks. Right now, because I don't care because it's gonna be trash. 
So now I can move the whole uh, assembly out. They put a few silicone on this vanity. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get rid of a, as much as I can. So now it, it will move easier. Also, the corners. Yeah, silicone, because that's like glue. This is what we serve now. So on this thing they put a uh, couple of bolts inside. I need to remove them. And this one is just a little bit tighter. The uh, Probably gonna have to remove the uh, sink so that way I can take that bolt. This sink is already uh, separated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. Uh, it is glued. Okay, so I picked this up from this edge and it broke even more. Uh, it was already broken, so I'm gonna remove it. Now I can take the uh, bolt from here. Sorry guys, I have to take this uh, broken part out. So that way I can remove the uh, and now you should be able to remove this. This whole silicone all the way around. by force it's probably gonna break but I don't care because I'm not, I'm not gonna use this anymore so let's see let's see what it comes out to all that really good um, before I do anything else I just gonna clean all that you should have that you should do that too there's a bunch of brushes there and dirt so I'm gonna clean it up before I continue with uh, anything else see you in a little bit after I clean this all right guys so this is the new uh, uh, vanity that I purchased and uh, well, I, uh, what I want to do is that I want to put before I install it on the uh, uh, on the wall 
I'm gonna put it right here on top just to make sure if it doesn't come out to the sides so that way I can put it right against the wall so this is what's next all right guys so this is the countertop and I want to put it right here on top before installing it on the wall And this is what I wanted to find out. If I was gonna be able to put a flush and also on the back, I might be a little bit off this way, but that's not too big of a deal. And uh, so this way uh, it can be flushed to the, uh, the wall. Cause that's why I want it flush to the wall. All right, and it seems Seems like if it's perfect, so yes. In this case, I can put it uh, flush against the back. All right, and on that side of the uh, the wall. Also, on the cabinet, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble on mine on this one because it has uh, it has this at the bottom. And uh, that drawer, I think, is gonna interfere with the uh, hoses and the rest. And so I'm gonna make sure that that don't happen. As you can see, I got this thing a little bit uh, clean. I cleaned up a little bit, and it's gonna clean up a little bit more. And I'm gonna put the uh, cabinet right here just to see uh, what uh, um, additions or what I'm gonna have to do with the. Uh, uh, hoses okay so I brought the uh, cabinet and I have a little bit of problem with the uh, tubing you know it's not gonna fit in here also on the back I have that little tube I don't have any problems with the uh, valves the valves are okay as you can see right here so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is either <laughs> remove this uh, top, uh, the top uh, uh, wood, and make a hole on the back, so that way it will fit. This is the problem that I'm having right now, and that's probably what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, and probably I will be getting rid of the uh, the bottom of the drawer. Uh, I don't need to. I can just glue that thing to the the wood and make it look just like a drawer, but it, that it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's. That's probably what I'm gonna be end up doing. So the first thing I want to do, I want to uh, remove the uh, drawer, and to remove these, you gotta pull this thing, little, this uh, little clip, down on both sides. Yeah. But you press it down and then pull it at the same time and it should come out. And this is what I'm talking about. They came out, all right? Those clips, those clips, they even in place. Now I got this uh, uh, drawer clear over here. And let me see what am I gonna do. Okay. 
All right, guys. So on on this uh, specific uh, cabinet, I had to uh, uh, hammer this uh, top shelf uh, because it is just uh, on the way. It's not. It's not gonna do any good to me. I had to hammer it right here. And yes, it did broke, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom, place it down, and uh, I'm just gonna pull it from the other side, just like this. And uh, I'm gonna put it right here on the bottom. So now I got all the space, all the space for the uh, water valves and and the uh, uh, trap. All right. Uh, right now, uh, I am going to remove the uh, the shelf guide uh, or the drawer guides out. But first, uh, I'm gonna try to remove this uh, shelf from here. shelf the bottom part it's also painted so that I'm gonna put it right there on the uh, uh, bottom so now I'm gonna have space for everything to fit in here and uh, all I have to do is just get rid of the uh, this uh, pins holding the top shelf also right here yeah. Yeah. so alright so I got the space already that I need I need to take the uh, I need to take this out because I'm not going to use it anymore. The uh, to remove the other side of the railing, you got to make sure the hole is lining up right there. if I'm gonna put some anchors so that way this thing won't fall this thing already has two holes on the back wall that I might use to put some anchors 
so that way to prevent this from falling down. All right, so I'm gonna put some anchor cores. I'm gonna anchor it. Put some anchors because people in here. what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to put a line right in the middle of the circle with uh, a level. Next, I'm going to bring this to the wall, right where I want the cabinet. I know this is the distance. Now I need to measure the depth, you know, the how far down, made the holes, and I'm ready to to uh, install this uh, cabinet on it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna measure from the line to the middle of the hole and that gives me 3 inches 3 inches and most likely it is the same 3 inches alright so right in here right in here I'm gonna make a line I'm gonna make a line I'm gonna measure three, three inches. 
quentes. Same thing on the other side. And that's where I'm gonna be making the hole for the anchors to go in. I'll show you how the anchors uh, look. All right, so right where I made the lines, gonna make the holes. Same for the other side. So now we're ready to install the anchors. These things are called uh, toggle, toggle bolts. And um, this is to be used in hollow walls. You know, when you have a hollow wall on the other side, not, not concrete. And uh, this is pretty much just a little butterfly. You put it like this, you stick it through the hole in the wall. Obviously, this is gonna be with uh, the uh, bolt like this. And then you stick it through the wall. Once it's inside the wall, the hollow, it opens up. Put pressure against the wall, and then you tighten it. And this is a really good mechanism. It's really strong. Really strong. So let's, let's keep working. Okay. So here we go. So what we do is we're gonna stick first the bolt through the hole on the frame or on the uh, cabinet. This thing it will pop out. After it pops out, we're gonna screw it to the bolt and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right? It's right there. All right? Stick this in here. Screw it in. All right. So now that we got everything screwed in, we're gonna bring the cabinet close to the uh, wall. And we're gonna Sorry for the movement on the camera. It's just that I only have one hand. But as you can see, I'm pushing the uh, butterfly and I'm gonna stick it to the hole like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. As you can tell right there. I'm gonna squeeze the butterfly. All right. So now I'm gonna If it's a little tight, you can probably hammer it softly, not too hard, just to bring the bolt in. This one is in. It's in. Now, 
we can bring the cabinet to the wall. All right. Okay. So now we're ready to turn this thing. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it against the, uh, the wall so that way this thing can turn. All right, you can turn it by hand. I'll go very quickly. Yeah. Pull it out so that way. It's going. So I'm gonna keep going with the. Uh, Alright, so we're doing the uh, same thing to the other side. Get it by hand first. And then we tie it with this man. Oh yeah. And this is a really good way to hold the uh, cabinet in place. This is just in case uh, they get on top of it or kids they wanna uh, get on top of it, it won't fall on them. All right, so the next thing is that I'm gonna apply a small um, amount of uh, silicone around the edges inside and uh, floor top before I install everything else, all right? All right, so I got the silicone if you have a tube like this and uh, since I don't want too much silicone I'm just gonna cut a little piece like in an angle like this All right once you cut that if you have the gun Right underneath the gun, it should have like a little pin like this. So that way you can open the inside. All right, this is how you open the silicone. All right. So you put it in place in the gun. And we're ready to put silicone in all the corners that uh, it hits the wall. Okay. So. Okay. Good. Once you get that. You can use your finger if you want to, I always do, nothing happens to me, and just make it smoother, right. just like that, that's just to keep, just to make a good seal on the outside. Also, I'm going to do the same thing on all the inside parts, so I'm not going to record all these. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to put just a little bit of silicone on all four corners in here. So that way I can put the uh, bottom uh, shelf. Remember the shelf that it was on top when I wanted it on the bottom? Alright, just a little bit. Why just a little bit? Because sometimes you need to remove that. Maybe you want to fumigate. I don't know. Whatever the reason is. It's a good idea just to put a little bit. So we're just gonna screw it in. 
and that's good. Cool. All right, better on this side. All right. Okay. So something it's hitting on the back. Let me see what it is, and then I'll put it back on. Okay. So the bottom shelf, it's under. Uh, just gonna give it a couple, of, couple of hits. That's it. All right. So it's under. So the next step is to put the uh, sink, the sink itself. And for that, I'm gonna use something that is called liquid nails. All right. It's a very strong material that I'm gonna put around the top of the uh, edges of the uh, cabinet. So this is what I'm gonna use for the uh, See the countertop, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this around the edges. You don't have to be perfect either. This thing it really works well. Sometimes you even have to consider the job as a permanent because this is just a strong it's a strong material. It really works. Right. All around the edges on the back. Alright. So I got the um, the liquid nails all the way around. Now we're gonna put the uh, sink. All right. One thing I forgot to mention about the uh, silicone. All right. If you want the silicone to really last a long time or more. Uh, the best way to do it is to put a nail on the tip so I got the nail and then cover this with tape and that will seal it that will make a really good seal and uh, it will last longer okay Okay, so I am about to install the sink. As you can see, again, I put uh, liquid nails all the way around. Now I'm gonna break the sink. And I'm gonna set it on top. Just like that. Alright. 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 Okay. So since it was not square, the wall is not square pretty good. Uh, there is some uh, gaps which I'm gonna fill with uh, silicone, all right? And we're getting there. It almost look complete. So let me get to the silicone, all right? I had already sealed the silicone back. This is what I'm telling you. And uh, what you have to do is take the tape out, take, remove the nail, and you're gonna have a fresh uh, silicone. It will, it, will, it will not dry when you, believe me, this is, 
the best way to keep them longer, okay? of the silicone down here and I'm just gonna clean my dishes are sealed with silicone all right it's gonna be a strong uh, strong it's gonna be really strong and you made a good seal tight seal on all the edges all the edges are covered. Clean the excess of your of your fingers, and we're set. And we're ready on this part. So for the next part, I need to remove the water valve from the old one. And this is what's broken, but it's simple. All you have to do is loosen the plastic nuts. Once it's out, uh, we're gonna put it on. on the new one. Now, most of the instructions I've been through it, you don't require to put anything or silicone or anything on this thing. The plastic it will be the seal. All right. Okay. So we're just gonna put the valve. Like this. And we're going to put the screws from the bottom. It's too dark. So you do this in here and on the other one too, on both sides, okay? When tightening these nuts, you don't need tools. With your force of the hands, it will be more than enough. Alright, once you get a seal. Alright, so we're in the process of installing the other one. Make sure it gets really tight with your hands. Like I said, you don't need any hardly or you need tools for this. And it's on. Look how good it looks on this side. Pretty good seal tight. Alright. Alright, so let's continue with the next step. Alright, so for this next step. I'm gonna try to use the uh, old uh, drain tube. It seems in good conditions. And for this, you have to loosen this. This knot, the only thing it does is put pressure on, on the sink. And hopefully it will come out. Uh, the reason I say hopefully is because it's a tiny amount. You gotta loosen just a little bit so that way you can turn this one because this is also screwed in there so yeah so it's holding in place and this one you turn it all the way just like that and it popped out okay it popped out from 
that other piece and then all you have to do is just take this piece out of it and you go and clean these pieces to put them back together on the new sink all right all right so, so for the next step this is the nut that we took out from the drain pipe I don't know if you remember we're gonna need uh, some plumber's putty this is the only place where it needs plumber's putty so you do like a kind of like when you used to play when you were a kid with the uh, putty make a circle just like that and you're gonna put it around the uh, nut all right like this all right kind of like this you don't have to be perfect uh, once you put it in there and tighten it you can remove the excess so now let's keep so we're gonna install this all right the first thing you do is uh, if this is a, a gold one try to lower a little bit more the gasket like this okay. now we're gonna put the knot on top the one you put the, the plumber's body right here all right just like that you can press it if you want now we're gonna go down underneath then we're gonna screw the other part right here okay so we're gonna screw that this is, this is how it looks on top and turn it all the way okay now you're gonna make sure this um, where's my light gotta make sure this is facing the back just like that this is where the uh, pain goes to pick up that thing up and down all right once you have it in like this you see how much uh, putty is coming out now it's time to tighten it about the knot against the sink all right so tighten them up really good I'm gonna need pliers tighten them up all the way against it I don't have to record it, you know how to do it. And uh, let's continue. Okay, so I got this pretty tight with the uh, pliers. Hold this shaft with your hands and time these with pliers pretty good. And back over here, all you have to do is take the excess of uh, bomber's putty. So whatever is in there, it helps as a gasket. So that way there is no water leaks all right you can throw that away all right so we get that part now we're down to the next part it's installing the trap so i have the old trap in here this is the old trap i'm just gonna clean it a little bit and uh, put it this is an accordion uh, trap this is really good because if anything don't match you can basically move this whatever you want this plastic to plastic does not need any teflon on it don't put any teflon the only thing you're gonna do is make it worse uh, this is designed to make a good uh, seal so i'm gonna put the one on the bottom first if it's still good it's just gonna go straight and it should make a good seal all right so now i'm gonna put the one on top it has this gasket all right with a nut 
put it back in here and tighten it. If it goes, the nut goes crooked, take it off and put it back on again the way it's supposed to be. Alright? Tighten it with your hands. You don't need to tighten it with pliers or anything like that. has to be fit tight and I think the gasket is not the correct one so I'm gonna have to find a, a new gasket all right okay so after trying a couple of times the mouth of the uh, uh, drain uh, the trap uh, pipe it's already widen too much so I'm gonna have to replace the whole uh, trap I'm gonna put a new one I try and install a new gasket but it doesn't it doesn't fit so I'm gonna have to do that so I'm gonna remove it all right now remember most likely you have a one and one quarter uh, pipe and uh, the uh, trap, it's one and one half. Uh, so you need a gasket that uh, it will uh, fit on that. Top. So I purchased my new uh, kit, and I'm gonna be using the trap. Everything else is in there, and it's good. Okay. This one it comes with the uh, gasket. This one it comes with the gasket, which it reduces it reduces the uh, pipe from one uh, and one half to one and one quarter. Okay. Uh, I'd like to show you the difference. This one is already widened. This is the uh, the used one, and look how the new one looks. This way, the new gasket it will sit on top of here and put pressure and seal it. On this one, it just goes through. So it's time to replace this one. Throw it away. All right. So the first thing we'll do is we're gonna put the one on the bottom. Then we're gonna we're gonna put the gas the uh, uh, the bolt the nut I'm sorry plastic nut and the gasket. I have to bring this up. You don't have to use pliers for this. Everything is hand tight, and uh, it should give a good, uh, good seal. Uh, if you turn on the water and it's leaking, well then you might want to tighten it a little bit with the pliers. But usually it's not necessary. Everything is done by hand. All right. So it's it's set up. Top and bottom. Alright, the accordion 
it's really good because you can put it anywhere you want. All we have to do now is connect the uh, hot and cold uh, hoses and we're set. So these hoses, they come with uh, their own uh, gasket. So it is not necessary to put a Teflon tape on the top of, of that. All right. So we're gonna I'm going to proceed to install the uh, cold water first. My hands on the way. Right. It's there. Now the hot water. And then I'll, I'll tie them up with the, uh, the pliers. pliers to to tighten it both they don't have to be super super tight I mean as long as you get up give it a good tight it's good enough because it's got a gasket on it when with a gasket it will do the job to seal if it leaks, it has to be something else wrong with it. Oh. Let's tighten this one up. And uh, like I mentioned to you, they do sell a special tool. I don't have it with me, so I'm using this instead, okay? If you go to a plumbing uh, store, they sell them all over there. All right. So I got it. So I'm gonna turn the uh, valves. The valves. I just wanna see if there's no water leaks on it. Now the other side. Okay. They're both on. There's no water leaks. All right. So it's looking good. So now the next step is just to turn the water valve, let the, the water run through. And if we don't have any leaks in here, we're pretty much safe. See, everything is flowing nice and clear. Yeah. No water coming. We're set. Everything here is done. We're almost done. So now we're in the process of installing the uh, drawer, which is going to be permanent. It's not going to be uh, uh, useful. It's just going to put it as I'm just going to put it as a you know as, as a view, so it looks all right. All right. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I had a water drop. That's because I didn't install this. This one goes in here. And uh, for right now, I'm just gonna make the seal. This is just to bring things up and down. So we're set on that. Now, if you want this thing to be uh, working the way it's supposed to be, I like to leave it like that. I like to leave it just like that on top of it. So that way you can easily remove. But if you want it installed correctly, this is what you do. You take this off again. Take this 
off. Right, completely off. Now you're gonna stick this in here with the bottom facing that way. All right, you're just gonna let it go. And the measurement is exactly That should be it. That should bring this thing up and down. I'll show it to you. See, up and down, up and down. And now you cannot remove it. Okay. okay. So now we're gonna install the leveler to bring this thing up and down. It is divided in two parts, the, the, the leveler itself and an extender. So the first thing you do is make sure this thing is all the way up. You're gonna stick this through the hole. Let it go. All right, so we're gonna go down there. The flashlight. I don't know where is it. <coughs> so, um, I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna stick this through there. And for right now, tying it by hand, all right? Just by hand. All right, since it's all the way down, you're gonna stick it to a hole where it fits better. And then you put the little clip first, and then the leveler or the extender, and then the other end of the uh, clip, all right? Just like that. Like that. that will hold it in place. Clip, extender, clip. Now we can bring uh, that up and down. And now we're gonna tighten this thing. So now there is tight, that's ready to go. We come here, we use the leveler, it goes up and down. All right, so it came out, I don't know why. I'm just gonna put it back on. I'm gonna take this thing a little bit better or more inside. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the uh, the uh, plate, the front drawer from its place because I'm gonna just put it there permanently, and it's got some uh, quite a few bolts in there. Now, 
So the next step, step, step for me to do, is I'm gonna put the uh, cover. And uh, I'm gonna use a couple of screws. One in here, and one in there. I'm just gonna put a little, a little bit of glue too. And, uh, and we're done with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, liquid nails among the edges just a little bit Same thing on the other side. 
Hey, and that's the final results. This is it. A beautiful sink, man. All right. All corners. Everything set. Pretty strong. This is it, man. Got the handles. Old. The other one is just for looks. Stays there, permanent. Okay, we, we got it on. Alright guys, so see you in another edition of Tips for Dummies.